Grilled corn. First of all, how many people here grill corn? Okay, do you do it naked or dressed? I'm talking about the corn. Uh, anybody here do it in the husk? Okay, well, I hope after you leave this class, you'll do it with the husk off. The reason is simple. You want to caramelize the plant sugars that are found in the corn. And if you have the husk on, all you're really doing is steaming the corn in the husk. So corn naked, just as you see here. And we'll tie these off at the end. And one kind of principle I want to show you is when grilling, how do we prevent the corn husks from burning? Well, we make what's called an aluminum foil shield. Let me tie this off. So here's what it looks like, shiny side up. To protect your grill, we'll go right on the grill grate like that, trim the ends of the string off so it's less flammable material. In Mexico, they do not oil and season the corn as it grills, but I like to here. And always we season with coarse salt and freshly ground black pepper. So coarse salt, why coarse salt? The crystals dissolve more slowly. Hot grill, about two to three minutes per side, turning four times, which would make it eight to 12 minutes in all. Okay, let me show you how to put the corn together. And this will sound like a sort of an odd combination, but it's really great. We have mayonnaise, which we slather the corn with. This is grated cotija cheese or Parmesan cheese or Romano. And it goes on next. And then we have some pure ancho chili powder squeeze of lime juice. So that's our grilled corn. Let me put a couple others together for you. And in the meanwhile, some variations on grilled corn. We might use grilled corn with garlic parsley butter or tarragon butter. Or if you were doing this on a weeknight and wanted to be somewhat healthy, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. Our grilled corn Mexican style.